review of the 2017 Yamaha YZF-R6. Yamaha's 599cc inline four-cylinder engine was ahead of its time when it first rolled off the assembly line, and it remains a class leader in the power department. Tight, compact packaging, that includes a combination of all the requisite go-fast materials, aluminum, magnesium and titanium, a deep oil sump that helps keep the engine cool as it revs to a redline of nearly 16,000 revolutions per minute is what makes the R6's mill so delightfully potent. The thing is, you've got to keep the R6 engine spinning in its happy place, which is anywhere above 10,000 revolutions per minute, to take full advantage of its amazing power. When you're hard on the throttle, RPM builds fast, as if you're riding a new two-stroke dirt bike and you'll feel Yamaha's classic variable intake funnels YCCI, at work. It functions by adjusting the length of the engine's intake funnels so you get the best of both worlds, mid-range torque to drive hard off turns and draft passing top end horsepower to make sure your buddies stay behind you on straightaways. Tuck in behind the 2 inch taller windscreen and you'll likely be impressed with the more comfortable cockpit. Engineers carefully tweak the bodywork reducing drag by 8%, which helps the new bike punch through the air more efficiently, and you can feel it, especially down straightaways in the top two gears. Not only is the bodywork more slippery in the wind tunnel, it's tastier to the eye too. Specifically, the upper fairing appears even closer in design to Maverick Vinyl's YZR-M1 MotoGP bike, than even Yamaha's new in 2015 YZF-R1. The side panels are sleeker too, as is the tail with its hollow rear channels. The updated contour of the 4.6-gallon aluminum fuel tank looks great too, but it actually helps you lock into place during negative G-braking, as does the new seat with its flatter layout. All in all, it's a meaner yet cleaner look that stays true to the R6 lineage but with a modern twist. The R6 looks modern and it's lean, sharply dressed as if it's ready for a night out on the town. Bold and bright LED lighting is standard, as is the suite of electronics that includes traction control, Yamaha's adjustable throttle maps, D mode, and ABS. Settings are monitored via a combined digital and analog dash, which is identical in appearance to the unit found on the 2009 2014 Spec R1. You can possibly gripe that Yamaha went the cheap route by recycling existing components but in this case, it works fine with the rest of the revisions. Technology can be fun. Electronics like these have been traditionally taboo on 600 class motorcycles, but the retrofitted and enhanced TCS based on the 2012 YZF R1 is a welcome addition to the new R6. This electronics package is particularly special on the track. The A-mode throttle setting is our favorite track countermeasure. It sharpens throttle response and reduces the fraction of a second delay between your firing synapses, your right hand and the engine's power delivery. That added control combines with either the Bridgestone or Dunlop rubber to provide excellent traction right off the showroom floor. Both the Battle XS21 tires and the Sportmax D214 are offitment in the US. But if you have a choice, go with the S21s as they offer superior grip, based on our experience with both options. For this particular event, Yamaha outfitted all the bikes with Bridgestone's Batlex R10 tires. These are a competition spec tire designed for maximum grip at the track and it's a great complement to all the changes that have gone into making this bike handle so well. New 320mm rotors are 10mm larger and the front brake is now powered by a Nissan Radio Pump Master Cylinder with ABS. Another nice touch is the brake lever's adjustable knob. Fork preload and damping adjustments are relocated to the top of each fork leg with separate high-speed damping adjustment being removed. The shock also gets some attention with a conventional spring preload collar adjuster instead of the more complicated RAM style. The rear shock offers high and low speed compression, plus rebound damping. Final lap. Yamaha critics and fanboys alike will possibly complain that Yamaha didn't make enough changes to the new R6. But once you take it for a spin on your favorite stretch of curvy road, or even better, spend a few hours at a track day, and you'll find it's easy to feel the benefit of all these incremental improvements. If you are looking for a new 600 to straighten out those curves or scuff the luster off your knee bucks, 
then you're going to want to do it on the 2017 Yamaha R6.